Okay guys, it's Karin. Um, I'm making my first video on here to show you guys what you need for the first time ever to crochet. Um, I'm gonna act like I've never crocheted a day in my life and show you guys all the things that you would need if that was you. So I am at Jillian's in the yarn aisle and I'm gonna kind of go through my favorite yarns, the best to start with and all that. So this is what my yarn aisle looks like where I'm at and there are several like of my favorites that I tend to buy the most of always look at the sales because sometimes they'll have these great things that are buy three get get one free um this brand for example has 7.99 each on the burnett blanket and yarn is expensive so this is the best way to go also a lot of places will have coupons on their app it's like joanne's michael's for example have apps and almost always they have like 30 to 50 percent off your whole purchase or special items so always use that because the cost does add up so this here this is one of my favorite brands this brand you can find the best selection at joanne's um online or in store but burnett blanket is great it is like a blanket type yarn this is how thick it is um, but it is great. I use this for a lot of my plushies. Um, it comes in a lot of like bright colors that you can't find in like the sweet snuggles brand at Michaels. So I'm gonna get a purple one today. Um, so I'm gonna buy them. So that's one of them, Bernat Blanket. And I'll show you what size hook to use with this as well. It's gonna be the same for all the other yarn I'm showing you. Um, another one I really like to use, this is what I made like my strawberry triceratops with. This is a softer yarn, um, but it is thinner. So here's how thin this one is. It is a velvet based yarn, so it does feel very soft. Usually when I crochet with this one, I'll double crochet it so that it's thicker because this is a very thin yarn, but I do, I do quite like this yarn as well. So those are my favorite two at Joann's. I'll have to make another video on ones at Michael's that are a bit different. Um, but they don't have the sweet snuggles loops and threads at Joann's that they do at Michael's that I really like. And then another tip, <laughs> sometimes if you come out of the yarn aisle and kind of look a little bit farther, they have a whole nother little section with like colors that are usually not on the shelf. So always check like everywhere because sometimes they have some stock that weren't in the yarn aisle. So another thing about different yarns is usually they have a separate aisle for like, that will say the same brand. So this is Bernat Blanket, but it says baby in front of it. So that means that the dyes and stuff they use are usually safer for babies. So if you're crocheting for like a child or a blanket that is primarily gonna be used for a child, like this is the best way to go. Okay, this is also something to be said. So yarn comes in different dye batches basically and you'll be able to see on the label the batch of dye that the yarn was made with um, but so for example these two i don't know if you can even tell the difference in on the camera but these two just have a slightly different color than this purple um, so if you can and you're working on one project using lots of yarn try to get the same dye lot because this will just look slightly different you might not even notice but like I feel like I noticed. So see, like, I don't even know if you guys can tell here, but these two are the same. And then this one is just like a slightly different purple color than these other two, which would be such a pain if you're working on a project for a long time and they didn't like match exactly. Okay, so <laughs> I'm stocked up. I found all the colors I wanted with like the same dye lot. Um, and now I'm gonna show you guys like all the different hooks and stuff, what they all mean and which ones you need to start out. So if you're using the same type of yarn I'm using or the Sweet Snuggles loops and threads from Michaels, I always use a 10 millimeter hook. So there are several different types of hook. You can get a like plastic hook that looks like this or they have metal hooks that look like this. The metal hook has quite a bit more weight to it and the plastic ones are lightweight. When I first started crocheting, I preferred the metal hook, um, but now I found myself really liking like the lightweight ones. And if you tend to have like wrist pain, the lightweight ones are so much lighter and smoother, so you might like that, but everyone's different. So it usually shows you on here, so this one's like 3.75 millimeters, this will say four. Usually they're all labeled pretty easily, but I tend to gravitate towards the 10 to 12 millimeter hook. So this is the 10 millimeter. It's the most common one I use almost always. So this is how this one looks. It's quite a bit thicker. Basically, the thicker your yarn, the thicker hook you're gonna need. So like, for example, if we use this tiny hook for thicker yarn, like we're obviously not gonna be able to crochet with that one. Um, but if we use like a giant hook, like let's say we use this hook 
for thinner yarn our project is gonna look gappy and just like super wrong so the hook size is pretty important but for the most part generally if you're crocheting with like a fluffier yarn 10 to 12 millimeter hook is gonna work great it's kind of your preference but I like the 10. If you want, you can get like a pack like this that has all different um, sizes. Um, so that way, different depending on your project, you have everything you need. This is one of my favorite brands of hook, the Clover. It just is so lightweight and moves really quickly with the yarn. So if you like, like a lighter hook, that's a good option. Okay, so the other thing you're gonna wanna pick up is a pack of stitch markers. There's a bunch of different ones, but I will say, you know, stitch marker on the packaging. Basically what these do, if you're trying to crochet a plushie, it keeps track of each round that you're doing and you're gonna need that um, you can either buy like fancy ones or you can use a bobby pin it works just as well but I really prefer to use a stitch marker obviously you're gonna need scissors um, so get a pair of scissors if for whatever crazy reason you have scissors in your house I know obviously I didn't cover like what type of hook you're gonna use if you're crocheting something smaller but a great trick to go by is if you look on the back of your thread it will tell you what size hook to use um, they're not always very accurate but it's a good place to kind of start so for example on our yarn that I bought here see it says eight millimeter hook so you know eight to twelve millimeters would work for this yarn just kind of depending on how you like your project to look but if you're not wanting to start with plushies you're like where do I start what hook size get the one on your yarn because usually it's decently accurate one yarn color that I can literally never find is brown I can never find just like plain dark chocolate brown yarn and I don't know why like why do they not make brown yarn Chocolate yarn anywhere, especially not that brand. Maybe online they have it, but that's frustrating. Okay. I need polyfill too. So, polyfill is like the stuffing that I stuff my crochet projects with. And if you're gonna crochet a lot of stuff, go online and get the big boxes because you do save money doing it that way. Also, I'm not doing this today because for convenience sake, I just need to get the ones here. Um, but go to like Walmart. Don't buy polyfill at a craft store because it is way more expensive at the craft store for the same exact stuff. So this is how it looks. It's just like a bag. It says polyfill on it. Usually there's a whole aisle of different like foams and stuff at the back of the craft store. So this is like where mine is. Um, and I usually get like a larger bag. Oh, this is this is the one. So this is the one I usually get. It's a 32 ounce. It doesn't look like a lot, but this will last me a long time because it really expands once you open it up. So we're gonna get two of these. Okay, that's good, thank you. I wish I had another. Oh, I need that. Do you think? And always bring someone tall with you so they can get the polyfill bags. Oh, careful. It's okay if that one falls, we can put it back. Wait, what if there's just more over here? Uh, it's not going to be the same stuff. I was going to say, they're the same brand. Oh yeah, I guess I should show them exactly what it is that I use. So this is exactly what I use. Original polyfill fiber fill. Um, there's a bunch of different types, like quilting types of polyfill, all that. Just get the original premium polyester. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. I'm, I forgot to show you guys one other thing you're gonna need. If I can find it. This is why I didn't show before because I couldn't find where it was. Do you see any like needle type things, baby? Here, here, here. Okay, this is what you need. So, it's called a darning needle and it basically looks like a sewing needle but it's got a really thick loop and that's going to be to put your thread through. You need this to close your projects. It's so important, do not leave without one of these or you will not be able to close the holes you make. Get the one with the larger hole like this, especially if you're working with a chunky yarn. Um, you can use this for thinner yarn too so it's just better to get the thick one. And if your craft store has it, they don't always do. Get the metal one, because the plastic ones break. And look how fun some of these are. They have sparkles in them. I don't know if you can super see, but like, oh, oh I already saw this. <laughs> Buy three, get one free. So how many do I get three? Did I get enough? Make sure you get your money's worth, ladies and gentlemen. How many did I get? 
Okay. One, two, three. One free. One, two, three, one free. <gasps> I did exactly what we're supposed to, right? Yes. Because three and I get one. Three and I get, get one. Free. Yes. So we're ready to go check out. And don't forget, pull up your app. Just go up to the register, pull out your app, and say, you know, I want to use this coupon today. They'll scan it. You don't have to be scared. And that's it. I'm also getting one extra thing because I am crocheting Skittles right now and I need the little felt strips, I think I see it, to put on top of them. This is what I need, okay. I need just like regular white felt like this. <gasps> it's only 59 cents. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple of these. Okay, I, everything is secured. Also, pro tip, um, we met our lovely cashier, Colin, today. And if you're nice, I feel like this happens sometimes. They'll have coupons, like, at the front that they can just kind of, like, scan in addition to your coupons. So be nice to the person checking you out because sometimes they'll just scan their little extra coupon for you and you get the good deal. <laughs> I started filming and I forgot this poster was here that my friend got me. Um, if you've seen Barbie for Utopia, you know what that is. Okay, so I'm home now, and I'm going to show you guys the other two yarns that are only at Michael's. So you can get these at Michael's in-store or online. Um, and this is how it looks. It is the Sweet Snuggles, and the brand is Loops and Threads. Um, so only Michael's carries this brand of yarn, but it's like a thick plush. This is the one I use the most, and it really makes your projects look so beautiful. This is a great yarn, but the problem is they're out of colors a lot, at least at my Michael's location. You can get it online, but still, they're out of colors a lot. In the same vein, also exclusive to Michael's, is this, um, the brand says on the front, Chanel Home. It's also loops and threads, just has a different title than the Sweet Snuggles, um, but they are very similar, almost exactly the same. Um, both the same thickness. I use a 10 to 12 millimeter hook. I prefer the 10 on both of these as well. If you don't have a Michaels online that has the colors you want or you can't go in store to a Michaels, this is another brand I really like. Um, this is Premier Yarns. You can only get this online, um, but the one I really like is the Parfait XL. It's just as thick. It's almost exactly like the Loops and Threads Sweet Snuggles and Chanel Home. Um, and they have a lot of colors that are almost always in stock. So if that's not an option to you to go to Michaels, you can also order online from Premier Yarns. They're great. It usually delivers pretty quick as well. And then the one that I was just shopping for, this is at Joann's. Michael's has some colors at this one too, but Joann's has the best color selection. This is the Bernat Blanket. Um, they have a whole bunch of colors that these plusher yarns don't come in. So that's why sometimes I crochet with these ones. I really like this one as well. But this is just so soft and it works up so nice that it has to be my favorite, these thicker plush ones. But those are the four that I pretty much exclusively stick to to crochet like plushies or animals. So yeah, um, I'll make like a little list of all the supplies you need so you can screenshot. Um, but those are like the things you need if you're new to crocheting and you're wanting to make animals or a plushie or something like that. Um, so yeah.